Hi, I'm Kieran Barnett from MeCAD Systems and today I'm going to take you through the Wildman's Trim and Extend feature. So in, our, in this video today we have created a basic Wildman profile consisting of two horizontal um, sections or two horizontal um, configuration sections and a few vertical sections. As you can see, our vertical sections are overlapping our horizontal sections and this is not correct. The way to fix this is to say trim and extend under Wildman. From here, we are going to say look at, uh, look at two different types or two ways we can trim. So the first method we're going to look at is um, the bodies method so what we're going to do is select the bodies to be trimmed so that would be these three bodies and then we are going to select our trim boundaries so that means that the surface is going to be cut off over there for example so let's select these three and what we can do is just go ahead and say okay notice how now these bodies have been cut and so has this one. You'll see here, we still have interference and we'll be dealing with that at a later stage. From here, we're gonna look at the second method. So I'm gonna edit my feature again. And instead of saying bodies, I'm going to say faces. This allows me the same option is to select the specific cut faces. You will now notice as I'm selecting faces, the structural members are being split into segments and under these segments it is allowing me to decide which sections I want to keep and which sections I want to discard so for example we want to keep this section we can see that no we want to discard that section so we can just click on discard okay so this just allows you more functionality within the feature okay from here, we, as we can see, we'll have one more trim that we need to do because they are overlapping. So let's do the trim. From here, we're going to say bodies to trim. We're going to say bodies and let's select this body. You'll see now we are going to discard this section and we are going to say, okay. Okay, I'm now just going to isolate this member to show you the um, trimming how the trimming has affected it okay the next part of the trim and extend feature is the extend so say now for example our design needs determines that this length of this tubing let me just give you a different view the length of this tubing needs to line up with the length of this tubing for example how do we do that well there's a few ways what we could do is edit our sketch and from there get them to line up or alternatively we could just say trim extend make sure that allow extension is selected from here say bodies to be trimmed or bodies to be extended and we are then in this feature going to say face and from here we can just select this edge or this face from here we can then just say okay and now if I change my view again you'll notice they are now the same length. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more to come.